Hey everybody, it's John and Mike. Uh, we're here talking about the Galaxy Unpacked event for August 2021. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. But uh, let's get into what we saw today during their big presentation. I think uh, the big story for me is what wasn't at the presentation. And essentially that would be a new Galaxy Note, which is not going to happen this year apparently, yeah. or one of the other Galaxy phones like the S22. So they made this all about the folding phones, which it looks like they're going even more in on. Yeah, and I think it's a pretty exciting move because I think we're finally at that point now where foldables are a little bit more accessible and the tech is just getting so much better. And uh, we'll get into it, but the pricing is gonna make a big difference now. Yes, speaking of the price, right off the top, $17.99 for the Fold 3. US pricing. This is US pricing. Yep. Uh, we'll have Canadian pricing shortly, but at the time of making this video, we didn't have the Canadian pricing. That's a huge drop. It is, so uh, a dramatic drop actually, because uh, in Canada, I think you'll be saving at least five, $600 over the previous version of the phone, and this is a better phone as well. Much better, yeah, yeah. So let's take a look at it. Um, so the big thing for me is that it's a little slimmer now. Yes. And they've added a few extra cool features. So one of the things that I really like is that essentially this is becoming the new Note because they have S Pen support. Okay, yeah. Right, that's one thing. And there's two different S Pens. So there's a, a smaller, slimmer one, and then there's a bigger one, kind of like an Apple Pencil that's got Bluetooth. So it's more like a stylus and then an actual pencil. But it makes sense for this, right? Because the big thing with the Note was it's so big, you can use it as a little tablet or tablet. So this is actually larger than a Note. Yes. You're getting a lot more real estate when you've unfolded it. Yeah. So maybe this is the new Note. Well, that's what I was kind of wondering if this is the way we're going to go because yeah. the Note was beloved by people that had it. I was one of my favorite Samsung devices ever. Yeah. Um, and the fact that they added all that functionality into this and then they make it so that you can actually open it up and draw on it. That's pretty cool. I think also something interesting with the last uh, iteration of like the S21, the Ultra, the high-end model, you could get the optional S Pen for it as well. Yep. So I think maybe that would be the way they're going. Yep. If you want uh, a non-folding uh, phone, you'll go for the higher-end S21, 22, whatever model. And if you want that extra screen real estate, you'll look at a folding yep. version here. Yeah. So let's look at some of the specs. So. Not a lot of change as far as the screen size, resolution, that type of thing. Pretty much uh, similar to the previous version. Um, 6.2 inch HD plus uh, dynamic AMOLED 2 2x display. Um, slightly different aspect ratio, 24.5 to 9 versus 25 to 9. So not huge. Not huge. No. So, um, but the folded specs are a little bit thinner. Yes. A little bit sleeker, and they've added water resistance. This is IPX8, so. So they're making these more durable now. You remember the first incarnations, you know, the Huawei had their Mate 10, I think yep. it was, or Mate X, whatever, <laughs> whatever it was. Uh, and uh, even the first incarnation of this, remember they had some issues with stuff getting into the folds and the screen peeling off. This, this is a lot more durable now. But I mean, you've been using both of these, the fold and the flip yeah. for like, a year. The the two, fold two and, fold two, the, yes. and the flip two. Um, and they're still pretty good. Like we were they're playing in, with them a little while ago. And yeah, they're in great condition. Um, I'm, I'm really digging the, the flip two. The fold two is great. I, I It's still pretty thick. And I know it's thinner on this one, Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I, I do like the flip as far as the size. Yeah, so one really interesting thing, the cameras are kind of the same but they've actually got an under display camera now, so you don't actually have a notch anymore. Oh yeah, ZTE came out with that. Yeah. So I didn't think Samsung would be so quick on it. Apparently, you can't see it in this, this image here, but yeah. it, it's definitely there. It looks like a little black stain underneath your display. Yes. It's still there, because it has to be as close as possible, yeah. so. Um, I wonder what the quality will be like. Well. We'll have to test that out. I mean, it's it. for the selfie camera anyway, yeah. so it may not matter, right? So, um, but yeah, I mean, I think the big story here is more durable, a little bit slimmer. 5G. 5G. Yeah. And the price. Yes. So, but I'm actually more excited about S Pen support on these devices. Yeah, it's interesting they've got the two different uh, versions. Yeah. Yeah. So, and neither of them like 
tuck away. You, you have to get a, a special case or a little yeah. loop or something like that. You're not sticking it inside the phone like the yeah. the note. Yeah. On so that. so this is just some of the samples uh, people using. It actually, kind of looks like a like a Nintendo DS there. It does. It totally does. <laughs> and they actually show gaming as well. Cause yeah. It's got beef. Oh, look at that case. It can fold right yeah. over here. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's. Um, yeah, for day to day, I guess you'd really have to be one of those note people that are used to like the larger yep. format uh, phone. But I know Robin, our director of photography, he swears by his iPad and taking notes all the time about our shoots and stuff like yeah, that. But something, that's giant, right? No, but this would be something more portable and he wouldn't have to be switching from digital to paper. I, I like the fact that it can fold and you can just kind of write on it or yeah. or watch videos or do a you know a Skype call or a Zoom call yeah. on it. But. All right, let's talk about. Yeah, the, this is my this is my favorite. I have to tell you. Mine, yeah. mine too. Um, oh, the other thing we didn't mention about the fold is uh, there's three new colors. Okay. Or three colors. Yeah. Phantom green is now a thing, which is awesome because. I know you're Mr. Green. That's yeah. mine. Yeah. So, but I wonder if all those colors will come to Canada. They don't always. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. So um, actually, let's go back. A thousand U.S. See, now it's getting interesting, right? Because yeah. they're putting it in the same territory as a high-end iPhone or yeah. one of the uh, Samsung Ultra S21s or and S22s. it's a, And it's a better device, too. Yeah. So, um, Beautiful. What I really like about this, though, is you'll see it's got a much bigger sort of folded display now. Yep. And so you actually can see a lot more going on. And it's a little bit thinner. Again, it's got the IPX8. So um, water-resistant wa rating. Water yep. resistance, yeah. But it just looks great. They got a whole bunch of new colors. They also have um, some really interesting case designs for this. They really thought about how yeah. how to you know, how are you actually going to be using this, right? Because one of the things that we typically see is see. Sorry, just to interrupt you. See how thin it is yeah. now. It it kind of looks like a regular phone when yeah. it's unfolded. Yeah, almost like an S twenty one yeah. size. You know. I mean, is this the format we're going to be looking at I, five years from now? I love like for this. all phones. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So I love these case designs. <laughs> this, this is crazy. Yeah, this is crazy. So all kinds of different options. It's basically, it's it's almost like it's got a built-in kind of like a pop socket kind of holder, right? So yeah. You can slide your fingers through this, uh, or hold it through the key ring, and that's the case for what, it. What are you supposed to like? Hang those off your belt? Probably, or like a lanyard. Some people, I've seen lots of people do that. Yeah. So. Got it. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. A little weird. Yeah, but but the thing is, there's tons of options, right? Yeah, and this is from Samsung. You know what I like? I always find Apple's at the forefront of you know these different types of case designs and, yeah. and what have you. This is one of the first times I've seen Samsung kind of be forward. No, that's what I'm saying. Like they've come oh. up with a whole bunch of like fashion accessories. They're they're positioning this particular phone as more for the fashion and lifestyle people. Yeah, you know, you got to get it for the gram, that type of thing, right? So um, again. Great specs on this one. That's um, 1.9 inch Super AMOLED display, and so it's got the little screen here too. Yeah, and yeah. it's bigger than the last one. Yeah. So that is cool. Yeah. Same weight as the previous model. Uh, See, this is grams. this is sexy. You want to be seen using yeah. this. Well, and it's affordable now. Yeah. Because like the previous version in Canada was like eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, it's still going to be up there. No, this will yeah. be like. I see. I see a thirteen ninety nine price point. Yeah, we'll confirm that. But yeah, something like that. But yeah, all you know, all the good things you want. The water resistance is huge because it seems weird to have a phone these days that isn't. No. Even some kind of resistance so that you're not dead as soon as you go outside in the rain, right? Um, and again, they've got a ton of colors. Who knows what they're gonna if they're all gonna come to Canada? But I like the green one. I like the pink, or the lavender. I like I, I like the flashier yeah. colors. I yeah. mean, that's what you want. I mean, this is a phone to be seen with. Yeah. So yeah. why not get a, a fun color, right? Yeah. Well, and also the, all the cases come in a myriad of colors too. That's true. So you're probably covering the <laughs> color yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So that's our quick take. Um, there was also some uh, other announcements which we'll cover in a separate video once we actually get them in house, hands on. They've got a new watch, and they've got uh, new buds. So what I'm interested in when we do get our hands on it, obviously we're going to do a video on that, but I want to compare them to the, the previous versions of the, uh, yeah. the phones as well. But I think, um, I think they've got a winner on their hand with the flip. 
the Flip 3. Yeah, it's that sweet spot of price. Yeah. Mean, it could always be less, and it will be discounted with your carriers and all that type of stuff, too. I love it. It's sexy. It's got all the specs you want in it. I mean, it's not like the high, high-end specs like a, a 12 Pro or a, an S21 Ultra would, would have, yeah. but uh, they're good enough, right? Yeah. Yep. So I'm, uh, I'm interested to, to test these out. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments down below and tell us what you're excited about from the Samsung Impact 2021 event.